Hey, good morning, everybody. Big Ball Daddy with you on a somber Saturday morning. Last night, a young man by the name of Jake Logue died playing football. Jake's father was quoted saying that he died doing exactly what he loved. In honor of Jake Logue and everyone who knew and loved him as he wished, football and life must go on. 134 to go in the game. Greenville has it fourth down and seven to go. Sullivan South leading 35-28. Here we go. Daddy with you on a Sullivan South Friday night. As a new fan of Sullivan South, I'm learning a lot about the people of Sullivan South. First of all, you guys are top shelf. Awesome people. Again, the South students pour onto the field. What's up? Go Rebels! Check that out! You guys have fun tonight! Blue Devils coming right into your living room. He could go all the way. The kick is good. On the first half, trailing 7 0. Knox Catholic going for the field goal, and it's a fake. Had a feeling, and he, sir, is going to be killed and brought down by the Rebels. Sinclair up the middle for another 10-yard chunk. Sinclair up the middle, giving six. Well, we, I mean, we knew it was do or die. Uh, we just do what we, we had to do, took care of business. It's one of the best feelings I've had in a while. Well, that last drive, we got in the huddle, and we just said we were going to drive it, and we were going to score, and we were going to win this ball game, because it would not be our last drive. The trip begins. The Columbia excursion with the Taylor family and the entire Sullivan South football squad. And your video host, Big Ball Daddy, is underway. Okay, <laughs> folks, we are officially on the road here with this Sullivan South excursion. 
This is the young lady right here who has invited me. Please tell the people your name. I'm the Bobby Mama. Go Rebels, go to. And you are, sir? I am Dwight. I'm uh, Dana's dad. And the rest of them. And that makes I'm you uh, Bobby's Peppa. I am Big Peppa. And you are? I'm Jessica. I'm Bobby's older sister. All right, and we got two more. How old are you guys? Ten. All right, so there you go. We're on the way. Go and Rebels. Go Rebels. Well, folks, as you can see, Dina is in a hurry to get to Columbia. <laughs> we're pegged out at 140. And look at this. Well, we're here in Cookville, Tennessee. I think we're about an hour outside of Columbia. And is that an omen? I'm calling that the South Tree. Papaw's behind the wheel. And folks, we are still doing 140 miles an hour. Tonight's home for the Sullivan South Rebels. And down there's some of the guys. But this hotel is quite nice. And I think the Rebels are richly deserving of such a fine hotel for such a fine bunch of kids on such a fine season. The rebels divvying up their nightly grub. A pizza a piece. I've thanked the Taylors countless times tonight, but I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you again for taking me in and letting me enjoy this experience with you guys. I wish the best for the guys tomorrow. It's Friday morning, the day of the showdown. Dwight, do you have a good night's sleep? Excellent, excellent. Breakfast time this morning. Everybody getting their nourishment. Well, good morning again. It's just after 9 a.m. Central Time. The guys have finished up their breakfast and then no doubt inside preparing to go to their walkthrough. In just about 45 minutes, they'll board these beautiful chariots right here and head off to Murfreesboro Riverdale High School. Well, it's 9.45 a.m. Central Time and the Rebels are heading off for their morning walk through it. Folks, I would have to say at this point, this day is officially underway for the Rebel Nation. Well, it's uh, right before one o'clock. Team getting ready to go to the FCA meeting. All right, we're here, players are here. So for my money, it's on. <laughs> 